at any school that is integrated. I feel like I remember everything, even though I was six years old. I think that if anyone had actually gone through that as a child, that you would never forget it. On November 14th, 1960, Ruby Bridges became the first African-American child to integrate William Franz Elementary School in New Orleans. I remember the federal marshals knocking at the door and me standing there and wondering who they were. My parents never explained anything to me. I was only told that I was gonna to go to a new school and that I needed to behave. There were people lined the streets and I remember that they were chanting. There were police officers, they were on horseback and motorcycles. I really felt like we had stumbled into the middle of a parade. I don't particularly feel like my life is my own, that it was destined to happen. Now, Ruby is sharing her experience in a brand new children's book. I think that six-year-old is still inside me and she has a voice. If we're ever gonna get past our racial differences in this country or in the world, that it's going to come from our children. They come into the world with a very special gift and that's a clean heart, a fresh start in life. This incident actually changed the face of education across the country and that I had a role in that. I had a bigger calling on my life. Welcome, Ruby. It's so great to see you the book again. It's I Am Ruby Bridges. Boy, Ruby, when you think of, when you talk about a calling, it's so funny because when you read this book, it's through the eyes of a six-year-old and you totally understand that she's looking through with clean eyes. She doesn't understand that there's hate all around her. What made you decide to write it in this perspective? Um... There's so many other books that I've written, but I wanted to write this one from my voice and reach kids sort of where they are right yeah. now, especially that age group, you know, four or five, six years old. I mean, it's really hard to explain something like racism to a child at that age. But most kids understand the loneliness, mm -hmm. someone not wanting to play with them, mm -hmm. not really giving you a chance, you know, to make friends. And that's what I was feeling at the time. So... I wanted to reach them there, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, I think they get it. <laughs> I, I really do. You know, it's an honor to meet you right now. So first of pleasure. all, it's great. But <laughs> you know what was you. great about the book was meeting you then. Mm -hmm. yes. And to read a kid's book, first of all, it meant for a kid, however I'm reading it, I'm an adult man, and I felt like I was meeting the six-year-old you. Mm -hmm. And that is what touched me so much because you walk us through I think adults should read this book. Mm -hmm. I know it's a kid's book, but I think adults yes. should read this book because, one, you're learning, yes. and, you know, mm -hmm. so we don't make the same mistakes twice. We try to learn, mm -hmm. you know, what happened then. But as a six-year-old, I'm meeting you. But as a six-year-old, what do you remember about mm -hmm. that actual day? Oh, my God, everything. I mean, I had already gone to school for kindergarten, an all-black school. I mean, that was the law then. I thought I knew what school was like until I went to this school, and uh, I was expecting lots of kids to be there. Mm -hmm. When I got in, um, people rushed in behind me, and they went in and took their kids out and left that day. The second day I arrived, the school was totally empty. And so for almost a year, I was trying to figure out why is the school so why different? Why are they leaving me? Yeah. You know? And there were, there were, you saw no kids in the halls, no one no, around. No one. I had the privilege, uh, Ruby, of interviewing you a long time ago in New Orleans. And I remember that day very clearly when you walked through the door. And I thought, she's so young. I can't believe this has happened in, in this short time period. Yes. And when I see those angry people outside screaming and yelling, you know, two, four, six, eight, we don't want to integrate and all that stuff. Did you ever hear from anybody, any of those people? Because you lived in New Orleans. And did, did anyone ever say, look, I was out there and I'm sorry. I don't know what was happening. As there. a matter of fact, I um, had an opportunity to visit a church in Dallas. And uh, the pastor introduced me to one of his members. And uh, he said, you know, I've changed my life. The only thing that I felt like I had not made right is meeting you and apologizing. He said, I was 17. Our friends came over and asked me if I wanted to go to a protest. I ended up in front of your school and my picture is in one of your books and I won't apologize. I am so wow. sorry. How did that sit with you? You know, it was amazing to hear him admit it and to see his face then and then in the photograph. 
But the truth was, I said to him, you know, there's nothing for me to forgive. I didn't see you. I don't know you. I never thought about you. Hmm. You know, a lot of times what people have to understand is that forgiveness is really for yourself. Right. And that's what he needed for himself. He needed for himself. Wow. Yes. What a moment, though. Yeah, wow. It was pretty powerful. Yeah. Well, Ruby, um, this is really cool. And you've got something else that you're, that you're busy working on in New Orleans, an academy? Uh, yes. And uh, the one thing that I'm really excited about is Ruby Bridges Walk to School Day, a mm -hmm. group of very young activists, fifth graders, oh. declared uh, in California November 14th, Ruby Bridges Day. And I thought, well, if I'm going to have a day, what do I want that to be? What do I want it to look like? Mm -hmm. And we all know that Dr. King's day is a day of service. I want mine to be a day of dialogue. dialogue. So when kids walk into school, they talk about how they can make a difference in the world. That's awesome. Yeah, Aren't you is. so happy? I, like, I'm moved by yeah. I mean, the book, is, <laughs> yeah. the book is so good. And I, again, all you adults, you need it too. Yes. yes. Yeah, we agree. You can get your own copy of Ruby's book at Today dot com slash shop again it's called i am ruby bridges yes which, which ruby. i love the book yeah. i come from a racially diverse school i'm gonna buy the book for yeah. over 100 of them for the elementary school and send it to Ooh, my school thank you so that, i was that moved by it yeah, well you know it's it's hard for us to talk about racism mm -hmm. to our kids but this is a tool that yeah. you can use